Final whistle has just gone out of your park and it's Blackburn Rovers 3, Stoke 1. Uh, thank heavens for that. Uh, it's been a long ass week for Rovers. Not been a great week uh, off the field and not really been great on the field either with, uh, with last week's shambles against QPR at, at home. Uh, being uh, JDT's last match at ch in charge today was meant to be the start of a new era. John Eustace was in the t was in the stands, not necessarily uh, in charge of the game, but had a big involvement towards the back end of the game as Rovers held on tight for a three one victory. Damien Johnson was in the helm as long uh, alongside David Lowe uh, to steer Rovers uh, today, and uh, they did a fantastic job. Of course, three one win. The football was good in the first half uh, as we took a, a convincing lead 3-0 uh, uh, up uh, at one stage before of course Niall Ennis which, which uh, for Stoke now uh, pulling on the, 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 the Stoke shirt scoring his first goal for Stoke of course uh, we'll talk more about that in a minute but 3-0 up half time Tyrese opened up nice and early 7th minute to give us a, an early lead Smodic then got his up team goal of the season uh, to retain that uh, outright goal scoring uh, uh, lead in the championship to make it 2-0 and then Tyrese Stone got his third uh, to make it uh, look like game over and maybe even on for an absolute tonking uh, for Stoke. But credit for Stoke and Niall Ennis. Uh, I'm happy for him to score today, um, uh, getting uh, getting on the end of it his first goal for, for his new club uh, to make it 3-1 at half time. Uh, second half was very much all Stoke. Stoke were, were, were coming at us, kitchen sink job. Uh, so credit for Rovers' defensive uh, unit there. And in fact, it could have been a very much different scenario as uh, Stoke had a penalty penalty uh, uh, given uh, Callum Britton no 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 fault well there was uh, definitely a penalty uh, result there Britton bringing the man down uh, upstep Dame, uh, matey boy David Johnson or whatever his name is uh, of course formerly at Preston very much a Achilles heel or an arch nemesis for Rose over the years has a chance to put Stoke right back in it but up steps Ainsley Pears with a monstrous save to deny Stoke what would have been a pathway into this game a re uh, uh, they would have ridden right back in this one uh, but no, uh, well done, pairs. Big, big shout there. A couple other chances for, for Stoke to, to get right back in it. But uh, all in all, Rovers held firm. So let's give some uh, uh, a big ticks in the box for the defensive unit. McFazlin coming in for his debut was a, a rock at the back alongside his old buddy Dom Hyam. Might not have got the legs and might have got found out a little bit uh, in some areas, but was a, very much a commanding force at the back. He was even, he even left this field with a bandage uh, across his head, showing that already that he is, uh, he's playing for the badge uh, so Guru great performances from Callum Britton despite the penalty Ryan Hedges was, was back and was uh, is uh, very much uh, uh, best not necessarily attacking but uh, just organisational for, for, for Ryan Hedges it was a key um, uh, movement in the driving force Sam Gallagher as well didn't get on the score sheet but was was a key part of course Tyree Stone with a couple of goals so let's 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 look at, uh, at this performance hopefully as a, as a, as a turning point for Rovers season uh and, and, and I want to I wanna harp on about the fact that JDT left last week. Of course, it looked like, uh, or it feels like a lot of the fan bases were, you know, it's, it's with a heavy heart. You know what I mean? It's not like we're, we're, we're happy to see the back of them. Great coach, just not the right time. And of course, the, 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 the menu has changed for, for Rovers and the menu has changed for JDT. Was not promised any, uh, or was not given any re, re, um, reinforcements this season. And of course, the, the benchmark had changed heading into it uh, but he tried to play his way with the players that we, we had and unfortunately we, we just couldn't deliver and the results were, were taking a hit and, and, and fair enough a decision was made, whether mutually or uh, you know, one way or another, uh, to, to to change the managerial uh, appointment. John Eustace, of course, will be at the helm officially for his real deal first game against his old club on Tuesday. He did have an involvement in this game. There was a point where we were under the cosh from Stoke with that penalty, with a couple of chances from Stoke to really get back into it. Then John Eustace just had enough, stepped down from the from the um, from wherever he was into the dugout and started pulling rank uh, over the over DJ and of course David Lowe. So. Uh, how much we could put the responsibility or, or the glory for this result onto uh, 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 Damien Johnson, David Lowe, or you know, does John Eustace get any credit, if any? What I, what I can say was one John Eustace stepped forward, 
the attacking threat seemed to be less uh, of a priority, more of a defensive thing. So maybe we were, and again, that is a, an area of concern for us. We've scored goals today. This is our six, we scored six goals in total against Stoke over the course of the season, but three goals today. We've got that attacking threat and the, the defense is our major concern. So maybe, maybe that's what uh, the, was, was, was the, 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 the turning point for, for Eustace coming down. We've got to stop this. Of course, Stoke scored last, uh, sort of just before the break. And of course, had a penalty shout in the in the second half, which could have made this a very different scoreline. So, you know, uh, defensively, we were much, much better second half um, uh, than we have been for, for a good part of the season. But anyway, that is it. Of course, we look forward now to Tuesday when we take on Tony Mowbray and Birmingham. And John Hughes has officially taken over the reins in that game. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how we get on. And of course, we've got a big week ahead with Preston not too far away. But please, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You one-stop shop for the uh, Rovers continues here, of course, at the channel. And we look forward to seeing uh, maybe a vlog from Jacob, maybe some fan reaction, of course. We'll see all about that. But until then, I'll see you soon for the next one.